And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. It's like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Extra point try. Good by Gano. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On second down, Freeman. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative. Well, you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. On third down, Devontae Freeman. The pickup of 11, and it moves the chains. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. This is Freeman on first and 10. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Stop made there by Julius Pampers. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Hey, let's go. Now the pitch to Freeman. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. Back with more from Charlotte after this. They toss to Freeman. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense, and at times, will actually make checks, just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that? Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Adams. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Reception. Here's Newton. Caught left side by Funches. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. Right after the turnover, they come in.